Now we look how to compute uh, the moments of the autoregressive uh, process of order 1, that is yt is equal to c plus phi times yt minus 1 plus et. It is, it, it, it is just white noise with mean 0 and variance sigma square. The first step is to compute the mean. To compute the mean, we take the expected value of both sides. So the expected value of yt is equal to the expected value of c plus phi yt minus 1 plus et. We are assuming that the process is stationary. For this reason, yt will have the same mean across all times. So the expected value of yt will be mu. The expected value of c will be c. The expected value of phi yt minus 1, yt minus 1, will be, uh, will be phi times mu, and the expected value of et will be 0. So the mean will be sim divided 1 minus phi. Now, this stuff implies that c it is equal to mu times 1 minus phi. So we substitute, in order to find the variance, we'll substitute this stuff in the model. So we have that yt is equal to mu times y 1 minus phi plus phi yt minus 1 plus et. That is yt minus mu is equal to phi times yt minus 1 minus mu plus et. In order to compute the variance, we have to take the square of this stuff. That will be uh, yt minus mu squared. It is equal to phi squared yt minus 1 minus mu squared plus et squared plus the double product that would be 2 phi yt minus 1 minus mu times et. We take the expected values on both sides. And this is the variance that we denote by gamma zero will be equal to phi squared time gamma zero plus sigma squared, as this is the expected value of the square, the white noise. And this, the expected value of this will be zero because uh, since it is white noise, it won't be correlated with, uh, with its past and future values. So we have that gamma zero, it is equal to sigma squared divided one minus phi squared. Now we compute the first autocovariance, that will be the expected value of yt minus mu times yt minus one minus mu, that is the expected value of yt minus 1 minus mu squared this is correct <coughs> plus the expected value of et times yt minus 1 minus mu now this is equal to gamma 1 Well, the expected value of this, since the process is stationary, will be just the variance gamma zero. So gamma one will be equal to phi times gamma zero. That means that uh, gamma one is equal to phi times sigma two divided by 
1 minus v squared. In the general case, we have that the expected value of yt minus mu times yt minus j minus mu will give us the autocovariance of order j and it is equal to the expected value of phi yt minus 1 minus mu times yt minus j minus mu plus the expected value of yt times yt minus j minus mu we know that this is zero the expected value of this is zero but the expected value of this stuff will be equal to phi that multiplies the expected value of the product of these two that is gamma of order j minus 1 now we compute the autocorrelation function that will be easy that will be gamma 1 divided gamma 0 it is rho 1 that is simple simply phi times sigma squared divided 1 minus phi squared divided by sigma squared divided 1 minus phi 2 this both simplify and then we get auto, our autocorrelation that will be equal to phi the most general case will be that gamma j divided gamma 0 that is the autocorrelation of order j will be just phi gamma j minus 1 I beg a pardon phi gamma j minus 1 divided gamma 0 and this stuff is just rho j minus 1 so we have that phi rho j minus 1 write it here and now we are concluded